Hello guys, welcome to Dave on iCart Fish. Today, I'll show you how to set up an inline feeder. With the inline, you've got a sleeve and a tube that runs through. Just pull that out from the, the middle of the inline. And then you got a quick change bead as well, which I'll show you. So, first grab your, start my airline, so just grab the line, try and do it so the camera sees as well, feed that through the end of the sleeve, make sure the pointed end goes on first, let that fall through the line. Next, you got the tube. Put the line through this side first and then the wider end facing where the hook's going to go out. Feed the line into the tube. And go, drop the line. Try again. Into the tube till it comes out the other end. There we go. Let that fall. Next you want to get the first part of the quick change bead. You pull the end off, it comes in two parts. You want to put that side of the quick change bead on first. Push that through, let that go down the line. There you go. And then this is the other half of the quick change bead, very small. It's got a tiny hole in the top of it. I think the hole's that small, the camera won't uh, pick it up. But there is an hole at the tip, tip it up. You want to get your line. So small. Oh, thought I had it. There we are. So once it's through, just let it dangle at the bottom. And then what you want to do is create a loop. Loop in the line there and then this tag end of the loop I pass it through in and over once twice three times four times and then you pull that down Before you pull any knot, knots tight, always moisture them so you don't burn your line. Pull that nice and tight. There we are, nice and tight. Always cut your tag end. Make sure it's cut quite short so it can pass through the bead. If you do it on a bank, don't leave your tag ends, what you cut off, any line that you cut, don't leave it on the banks. Always pull it in the bin, take it home with you. Just don't leave it out. So then, on there, there's like a little, like a little hook, groove, cut out thing for your hook. Then grab the loop of the hook. It's quite 
food, right? Push up. Well, uh, it's quite a small hoop on this. There we are. So it'll drop down when you pull it towards the end. And it'll just sit in there. Pull up the first. Part of the bead, and just bring that down, and then that would sit over there like that to keep your <coughs> hook in there nice and secure. Just wrap around my rod. So next. Pull your tube down, that goes to the quick change bead, and then on the bottom there's a groove cut out, a line, just put your line through that, push on the tube, all the way to the end, make sure it's in there nice and snug. Just like so, and then the last thing is you bring up your sleeve, <clears throat> put that, oh, put that over there, and I always do it without the feeder on because the feeder just creates weight and just makes it difficult. So always put that on at the end. Put the sleeve over the tube and it keeps it all nice and stuck so when you get a bite on your hook what will happen is the fish bites that pulls away and then you've got a running feeder so that's how you create a feeder <laughs>